Welcome back, my beautiful Aquarius, to your weekly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable. That means it can go vice versa. And this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? <clears throat> Hope you all are doing well. <clears throat> One more notification. Hold on one moment. Gosh, your cards are like jumpy and sticky and must be a lot going on here. It's almost like a lot of stuck energy coming loose is what it feels like. Hermits. Uh, there's been a time of uh, separation or silence here. Okay, first card we got, a new start is coming, all right, with the answers you need are coming. So if this has been very uh, stagnant or kind of in a rut situation right now uh, with not much going on, definitely it's about to break here. We have a new start and uh, you're about to get the answers you've been waiting for here. We have detours, divine intervention, delays, and detours with unexpected people, events, messages, travel, or situations. So it looks like uh, we have an unexpected uh, thing happening here, unexpected message, or someone coming to see you. All right, and it was meant to happen this way with the detours card, so <clears throat> uh, let's be aware of that. Uh, overall energy, the tower. So definitely something unexpected happened here. Okay. So this is an unexpected, uh, uh unexpected uh, channel of events that have kind of happened as well as, uh, <clears throat> with the tower, it's like everything that you thought you knew now, uh, does not exist or is not what you really thought it was. Okay. This has really uh, changed your world. Oh, that's so weird. The world card just popped out as I said that. Um, this is a brand new beginning as well, uh, but this has definitely rocked your world here. So let's see what you're doing right now in regards to your person. I'm gonna leave the world card there because something's telling me here okay the lovers ace of cups and the strength card so right now you are holding back right it's almost like you have faith that something um some new beginning is going to come here in regards to the person you're dealing with <clears throat> you know um you know that it's going to take strength and courage to kind of deal with this uh whatever direction you want it to head tell about the uh strength card Ace of Wands, yeah. It's almost like you know that this person is your. You have to wait for a certain amount of time uh, before they come and message you or come towards you here. But you know that they're coming. Tell me the Ace of Cups, Six of Cups, yeah. This has been really hard because um, this person has been so intertwined in your life for a while uh, that. Um, You've put some value on this person, okay, uh, and who they are to you and the meaning they bring into your life here. Some of the Lover's card. Lover's Knight of Cups, yeah. You have, you have this knowing that they're coming back. They could be traveling right now or um, I see here with the World card or on vacation. Some of the World card. Seven of Swords, yeah. Uh, may not have told you here. Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. They may not have told you uh, that they were leaving or they had something else they had to do um, for a specific reason or a strategy. So let's see what they're doing right now in regards to you, Aquarius. Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. So they're kind of deciding a way to come forward to you and uh, a way to reunite here. Tell about the Page of Cups or Page of Pentacles. Four of Wands, Eight of Wands. So they want to rebuild 
uh, be able to come back. So this is like a short-term unexpected event that happens, okay? Something uh, really triggered the situation. Uh, this person might have had a plan um, in place and they didn't want to hurt your feelings, so they didn't tell you whether when uh, that they were leaving, such as going on vacation here in the world card or um, something they had to take care of or do. So let's see this uh, Knight of Pentacles, Three of Swords, yeah. So it, it's bothering them, uh, feeling a bit restless right now that they're not being able to move. Um, they're still there, they still staying loyal to you, but um, it's kind of like they, they're patiently waiting as they're uh, doing something. So this is, uh, they know that this is going to hurt you uh, by them leaving. Some of those three swords, five of swords. Yeah, I was, because I was feeling some guilt on their end. So they know this is hurting them that they're doing this, but it's like they, they had to choose their poison, right? So it's almost like they felt like they had to do this and make this decision. Um, in other words, if like this one would hurt less. Okay. So if they told you that they were leaving or on vacation, it would made you worry. Uh, we're going to find out why, uh, it would make you worry more than if you did, just didn't know. And it was like you were ghosted and then they can come back and kind of, you know, um, ease, soften the blow and give you clarity on the situation. So let's see what happened in the uh, past here. I'm feeling you guys are like in a rocky um, a place emotionally. Five of Cups, King of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. You feel like this person has broken your trust. You felt like you thought you knew who this person was. As it's kind of like a no contact. It just broke. Um, this person just left. And you didn't think that they would ever do this to you. Do You didn't think that um, everything that you have kind of built before or um, this relationship, how you are with each other, uh, possibly a soulmate type situation. Uh, you could have been doing anything together, especially with the pentacles here and the king of pentacles. This is a person you could have even worked together with um, building something, but as such as a business, anything like that doesn't have to be. Uh, but this, you feel like you don't even know what to believe anymore. Like, even if you accept that this is over, it's almost like a traumatization, uh, of the events. Like you feel now, <clears throat> excuse me, you feel now traumatized to even trust anyone else and what they're going to say, uh, because this person has told you and dedicated themselves to be devoted to you they've said this over and over and said nice things and sweet things and you know you they followed through before made you kind of believe it there were some red flags i have to say that possibly weren't being looked at in the past uh but in an overall general sense this person you trusted them you really really trusted them some of this three of cups Seven of Cups, yeah. Trying to figure out how how they're gonna they they know they're coming back, okay. Uh, but they're trying to figure out how can they do it to soften the blow to you, okay. So let's see what the challenge is here. Wow, I feel a lot of emotions for you guys. Uh, anxiety, emotions running. Uh, challenge Four of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ten of Cups. Yeah, the challenge is they can't really speak to you at the current moment. Uh, they want to, but they're having to hold back here. Uh, they might be on, uh, with their family somewhere. So this could be a third party. Tell, let me see this uh, Ten of Cups. I'm seeing like a vacation or something that they've taken. Ten of Cups, <clears throat> Judgment, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. Or return. Somebody wants to speak. I keep doing that. Um, Ten of Cups judgment. It's like they returned home. They returned. They they took a trip. Okay. But it's something has to do. It might be a third party. They might be married here. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. 
Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, it's a family, a family event. Tell about the Page of Cups. Temperance. Yeah, they can't really come to you, although they're they're desperately thinking of you and wanting to. Uh, but during this time, it's like there's a there's a hold on here, and you're you're on your side. You're thinking this person completely abandoned you, uh, and it's really unfortunate because it's tearing your feelings apart for this person so that when they do come back and try to soften the blow and let you know um it might even be over on your end because you just can't handle that they didn't tell you the truth uh but it's almost like they chose their poison uh what would hurt you less they knew they were going to hurt you no matter what so let's see why they chose not to tell you here Two of Swords, Queen of Wands. Six of Wands, Queen of Swords. Yeah, definitely could be a third party. There's two fe feminine energies here. Um, here you are in the Queen of Swords. They wanted to make sure at all costs they were successful uh, with you. Okay? And it seemed like the lesser evil here. They had no choice to be with the Queen of Wands here. And... With that, it's like if this person was on vacation, which it looks like they took a trip. So for some of you, they went on vacation with, uh, you know, their uh, marital partner, uh, with the kids and everything. It's or it's a family affair, uh, and they didn't want you to get jealous here. They wanted to make you feel like, uh, like it it was let to them it was less worry on you if you just didn't know what was happening this is their method of thinking uh then if you knew that they were doing that so you didn't get upset or try to think about over analyze all these things in your head that something was going on or that they were less uh dedicated to you so this person really didn't have a choice from their perspective they did but uh that's what they chose to do uh six of wands queen of swords son and again, um, they knew that you are so loyal and it's almost like a performance punishment thing. You've been so loyal and dedicated to this person thus far. So with that being said, uh, they always know that no matter if they do this or do something like this, that they can come back and explain themselves and uh, let let you know that you are still the one for them in the Ten of Cups and that. The only problem is that you are at the point where this was the wrong decision. Um, so we're going to see what they're going to do here. This was the wrong decision because uh, to ghost the Queen of Swords uh, is not a pretty sight. Okay? Because she will cut you out. And uh, she's been so hurt so many times in the past and uh to do that it, you you know you usually don't get a second chance there with the queen of swords unless you played fair okay six of pentacles devil queen of pentacles so the future action tell me about this uh or i mean the action this week six of pentacles two of pentacles tell me about this devil card nine of swords so they're afraid um, as they're coming back. So it looks like at the end of this week, um, they return. They are desperately in fear of, uh, the f like the fear of God is in them on how you are going to handle this. Tell the Queen of Pentacles. Justice card. Yeah. They're just not sure if you're going to be able to give them a shot here, they're really, really, really nervous. So let's see what they're going to do as they do that here. Wow. King of Cups, two, the Chariot, and the Two of Cups. So they're coming back. They're, they're staying positive, but they have a lot of fear uh, surrounding this. Uh, tell me about this King of Cups. It's a very specific reading here Aquarius king of cups and ace of pentacles they're coming back they're wanting to offer you a stability again you know and uh offer you up some knowledge on what has gone on and why they did what they did some of the chariots four of cups ten of wands yeah 
they're they're overcoming the challenge as they were on this break from you uh this separation here it didn't satisfy them it did not make them happy they couldn't quite even enjoy themselves and say they were on vacation uh with their family or spouse uh it did not fulfill them you know even though it would could have been a fun time uh, they were constantly thinking about you and it was really hard on them to enjoy themselves as they did this and they weren't really expecting that tell about the two of cups nine of cups yeah they are going to offer you uh, emotional stability here and let you know that uh, you are the one that's the only one that they love Okay, this is solidifying it. To, the two to the nine is like telling somebody, you are the only one for me. You please, you have to know this. You know, I had to do this. Uh, four of cups, ten of wands is also having to do something you're required to do. You don't want to do it, but you have to. So if this is a third party situation, which to me, it's kind of ending up that way with we have two people in the mix here. Um, it's like a duty that this person had to do and they knew that uh they couldn't tell you uh they just or they just felt like they couldn't tell you they could have uh but they felt like it might have hurt you worse if you knew and worried the whole time they were spending time with uh that person but it was very much a dutiful type thing so of course we're gonna see where this is headed uh in the extended reading we're going to go over the future action this person's going to take as well as the outcome and uh, get more details surrounding the situation. If not, if this is your last stop, thank you so much for joining me. It's an honor and a pleasure to read for you always. I love you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.